AIDS is currently managed with the highly active antiretroviral therapy combining a series of medications to overwhelm the virus and, uh, and minimize its ability to uh, form resistance to any sort of any type of medication. Currently, protease inhibitors, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors are the three types of medications that can be used in combination. Which of the following is a non-competitive reverse transcriptase inhibitor? Dalinosine, lamivudine and nivirapine, sacanavir and zidovudine. For that purpose, I made uh, some structure here or uh, that is the structure of the uh, HIV virus which is uh, responsible for causing the H uh, AIDS okay so if you look the virus okay the virus is and uh, the core of the virus I draw here the uh, the HIV virus they have two strains of RNA 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 these are the identical copy of the uh, each other okay two RNA and they have enzyme retrovir uh, reverse transcriptase invertase and protease enzyme so these enzymes are essential and helpful in the formation of new D new uh, copies of the uh, virus into the human body whenever they enter into the human body these RNA strains they convert into a DNA strain it means it's a reverse process because normally a DNA give rise to uh, RNA but in this case in this virus case there is a formation of DNA strain from the RNA strain so we can say that this enzyme which is working here is called as a reverse transcriptase enzyme so this enzyme what it do it has two points number first point it add new nucleotides okay the new nucleotides into the uh, strain the forming strain and complete the formation of the dna strain and the other on the other side it in it what it do it destroy the template rna once uh, the formation of complete dna the dna start to uh, incorporate it into the human uh, human dna by an enzyme known as invertase enzyme this invertase enzyme what it do it aid it the viral DNA into our DNA so after that there is a formation of there is a formation of new uh, sort of <coughs> protein long chain protein okay for example this protein is formed from this segment of the DNA of the viral DNA so now this protein is a long so there is an enzyme called as protease enzyme this protease enzyme what it do it divide in part make the protein into different fragments so from these fragments there is the formation of some envelope protein there are some formation of the core protein there are some formation of the matrix protein okay after that all these proteins they combine and they form a new unit and that is called as a new virus okay so there are three sort of enzyme number one enzyme the reverse transcriptase enzyme and then invertase enzyme and then protease enzyme so there are medications which are used in order to inhibit in order to stop all these enzymes so and they say that the protease inhibitors protease inhibitors are the medications which inhibit this protease enzyme okay and nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme inhibitors nucleoside inhibitors they are the uh, they are mimic or the same as that of the human nucleotide what they do in normal uh, normally in our uh, human body the nucleotide they have a hydroxyl group here and the hydroxyl group help in the binding of the uh, second nucleotide to the already present uh, the first nucleotide but in this case the these medications they uh, look like the nucleotide but they don't have any hydroxyl group they don't have any hydroxyl group here so once they don't have any hydroxyl group there is no further attachment of the nucleus new nucleotide and there is no formation of the dna in this case so what it do these medications they attach to the enzyme here the reverse transcriptase and inhibit it okay uh, and we studied in the biochemistry that the enzyme they uh, have two sites number first they the active site okay this one is the active site and they also have a non-active site or the other than the active site here okay uh, so uh, didonosine lamivudine and zudovudine these three medications they are nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors they act like a nucleotide and they bind to the active site of the substrate active site of the enzyme here okay and they block the further attachment of the new nucleotides so once they attach to the active site they block the enzyme but they don't block completely 
the enzyme they temporarily block because we studied that everything which attach to the active site they block the enzyme temporarily if we increase the substrate concentration keep going on so increasing the substrate concentration a point will come where what happened where these substrate this uh, in drug or this substance they remove taken out and the substrate attach here and the enzyme start to do work again but in case if anything attach to the non-active site okay they attach to the non-active site what it do they change the configuration of the enzyme now the active site become like this what okay so even you increase the substrate level keep going increasing the substrate level the enzyme will not work because it cannot attach to the path to the active site okay the same so protease drug that is Saki Navir okay so Saki Navir is a protease inhibitor they attach to the active site of the protease enzyme so among all these there is only one medication that is non-nucleotide okay they attach to the non uh, active site here and change the configuration of the enzyme that medication there is a non competitive reverse transcriptase inhibitor is only the nivirapine so nivirapine is a non competitive non nucleotide nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors thank you